Claire Jordan, the do-it-yourself virgin, and you may have already heard me kvetching about how drafty our old house is. Well, I'll tell you, the freezing temperatures this winter have motivated us to step up our efforts to get the house sealed a little bit better. To help us in our search for the less obvious air leaks, we bought a thermal detector. This one is the TLD100 by Black & Decker, but there are several other brands to choose from. This may sound odd, but one of the first areas we tested with our thermal detector was our bathtub. Our bathroom is pretty much the same way it was when it was built in the early 1920s when our house was converted from a grocery store into a residence. Just walking into the bathroom on a cold night will instantly tell you that there's a lot of cold air being transferred from the open, uninsulated crawl space under the house into the bathroom by way of the old iron and porcelain tub. This is an access hole that was torn out of the cinder block barrier wall, probably by some long ago plumber who needed to get to the pipes. That scary thing you're looking at now is the underside of the bathtub. Our house is built on piers, so the tub hangs just inches above the cold, wet Mississippi mud under our house. But I'll tell you, even knowing how cold it feels in the bathroom, we were shocked at just how dramatic the results from the thermal detector were. We took these readings on a night with rare, near-freezing temperatures in New Orleans. With the old iron gas wall heater fired up to take the chill off the room, the temperature near the top of the shower enclosure hovered at about 70 degrees considerably warmer than the rest of the room, I can tell you that. As we moved the thermal detector down the tile wall, the temperatures plummeted faster than our property values. The surface of the tub was a brisk 50 degrees, but the kicker was when we got to the drain and saw that the draft that wisps up that drain pipe was in the low 40s. That was really a wake-up call. Based on those readings, we've made some immediate adjustments. Probably the easiest is now when the temperatures are cold, we put the rubber stopper in the drain to help block that draft. The big job will come this spring when I'll inevitably be spending some quality time under my house. Oh joy. We'll try to figure out the best and most cost-effective way of insulating the area under the tub. And I have to tell you, if that doesn't sound like a good time, I don't know what does. I'm Claire Jordan, the do-it-yourself virgin.